Good evening and welcome to game two of tonight's Bryan County Patriots Spotlight Games here on Midwest Sports Net. Hi, I'm Joey McWilliams along with Jayla McWilliams tonight on camera. Glad to get to bring you tonight's broadcast as, well, you know what? It is a, it's a good night, cool night tonight here in Bryan County. Great night for basketball. Glad that you all are along for the ride with us. Rock Creek coming in with a record of six and five and Calera coming in a record of one and three as getting set to jump center for Rock Creek, Royal Hartley facing off against Colt Weaver for Calera. Tip, a little inauspicious, but Calera comes away with it. The Bulldogs wearing the home white uniforms, moving from left to right on your screen. As for Calera, Nockney Anna gets the first points of the night. It's from long range. Rock Creek with an opportunity to answer, can't do it, but possibly in the free throw line as it will be Clay Stoner who goes to shoot three. Starting lineup for the Rock Creek Mustangs wearing the road black uniforms, white numerals trimmed in gold. Wearing number 11 on the free throw line, a junior, Clay Stoner. Number 10, a junior, Ricardo Ojeda. Number 13, a junior, Jaden Schaefer. Number 15, a junior, Zach Holden. And number 32, a senior, Royal Hartley. For Calera, I mentioned in the white uniforms with the gold numerals trimmed in black. A junior, number one, Tim Eicher. A senior, wearing number three, Braden White. A sophomore, wearing number 10, Nockney Anna. A sophomore, number 22, Colt Weaver. And a senior, number 35, Bodie Smith. Stoner made two of three from the free throw line. And it is a one-point game here. 30 seconds have gone by. Anna tries a little shovel pass up and under, trying to find the post. Can't do it. Mustangs sling it the other direction. It's a man-to-man -man look, and Anna is playing tightly on Schaefer. Mustangs offense extending all of the half court. And we're going to have a foul. Ojeda pushing in and moving Bodie Smith down low. So Smith picks up his first personal second team foul. Schaefer almost didn't get back inbound before the ball got back to him. Anna knocks it around from behind. Great job knocking Anna, not picking up the foul there. Can be a little dangerous trying to get that tip from behind reaching around, but knocks it to bounds. Rock Creek is going to keep it on the Mustang end of the court. Hartley finds the cutter. It's Ojeda underneath. Smith won't let him get a good look. Zach Holden for three. The junior first field goal of the night for the Mustangs, and they now own a two point advantage. 5 3 here in this Bryan County Patriots spotlight game. Presented by Gallipot Pharmacy, K&D Designs, Pro Image, and Firehouse Subs. Gallipot Pharmacy bringing us our first quarter tonight. And Josiah Schomer and his staff here in Calera. Great work. Independent Pharmacy there as Smith will go to the line to shoot two. Josiah is a longtime supporter of Bryan County basketball. One of our great sponsors here on the BCP Spotlight game will often be seen here in Calera's Gymnasium, watching the Bulldogs and the Lady Bulldogs play. Smith makes the first of two. Again, Josiah and the Gallipot Pharmacy, independent pharmacist right here in Bryan County. You wonder about that. Do you need to, be a, have, need to have that big name? No, you actually don't. And Josiah and his group prove that daily at Gallipot Pharmacy. Here steal by Anna, but he had the high dribble, turned it over, and the Mustangs will get it right back. Josiah Schomer, Gallipot Pharmacy, right here in Calera. Let them handle your pharmaceutical needs, bring them your prescription. Maybe not right now, it's a little late. How about tomorrow? Sounds good. Tell them Joey sent you. 5-5 the score here, and Smith outside the arc finds Anna, right wing, long three, a little too strong. 
Three white jerseys in the area, but Schaefer comes away with the board. Can't get the shot to fall. Hartley's put back, no good. And finally coming away, rebound Calera. Weaver brings it down. Both teams looking like, again, might be shaking a little bit of rust off, finding somebody in a different color jersey. That's always good at this point. Speaking with Coach Thomas Evans about his Calera Bulldogs prior to the game today. Shot won't fall. Anna gets the board. He said he's not sure exactly what he's going to see. Doesn't know. Just glad to get him out there. Players have, have been able to do much they've had some good scrimmages but not a lot of games one in three only four games on the season he's not exactly sure what he's going to see from his guys tonight tie contest here in the first few minutes and smith getting the fenders up can't get the shot to fall weaver with the board anna there's an open look for Iker. too strong schaefer with another rebound off a missed three Schaefer misses a three himself. And so they'll take it the other direction. So shot's not falling right now for either team. Expect that to change. As we start to get back into the swing of things. Iker, wrap around, pass underneath. Weaver shots block. Hartley is there. Ojeda ahead. And we have an offensive foul. Clay Stoner. Great job on defense for Calera. Weaver just holding his ground. Iker the cutter. Looked like an alley-oop attempt. Iker, I don't think he's going to try to throw down, but could have gotten the shot. Gotten the shot as he received it up high instead, it's gonna be a turnover. Long range jumper for Rock Creek that time. Holden shots a little bit short. Two on four, Anna behind his back will drive in anyway. Shots off the glass, no good. Weaver there with the board, kicks out. Iker, the running jumper in the lane. That one won't fall. We've been knotted at fives for quite a while now. Blocking foul call. Braden White will pick that one up. Off the inbound, Hunter Hamill in the game, by the way, now a junior for Rock Creek. As Schaefer stares down Anna, tries the three. Hamill will go up and over the back of Bodie Smith. That's his first personal, fourth team foul for Rock Creek now. Anna driving the lane, hits the underside of the rim with that shot. Both teams with a three-pointer, both teams with two made free throws. Still, Hamill shot won't go. Weaver with the block. Another opportunity for Hamill. Tipped around, it's going to stay on the Mustangs' end. Looked like it might have been an extra step. Rock Creek gets away. Hartley this time over two defenders up and in. Royal Hartley with his first two points tonight. And finally, a scoring drought for both teams comes to an end. Rock Creek with the lead. travel so the Mustangs will get this one back 
Jeff Edlin, the coach of the Mustangs. His team six and five coming into tonight. Count the three on Rock Creek's end. Clay Stoner gets that to fall. He has five, and Calera is going to call the timeout. Well, these runs are coming in increments of five. Rock Creek expands its lead to five. By the way, I mentioned Rock Creek six and five on the season. Mustangs have been able to get 11 games in. Calera has been able to play only four. Rock Creek won its final contest going into the break. 68-67 over Boswell. A pair of losses prior to that to Lone Grove and to Batiste. And a three-game winning streak prior to that. Made it to the championship game of the Bennington Tournament, falling to Class B number 10, Batiste 54-32. Defeated Colgate, Bennington, and Ashley prior to that. So four and two in the last six games for the Mustangs. Jumper is good. Calera's scoring drought finally comes to an end. Caden Huddleston, Jr., with two. Tipped around, finally taken by a white jersey. Three on one. Iker. Takes a little bit of a Euro step, kicks it outside. Huddleston tries the three, left wing. That one falls away, no good. Anna is there to throw it off a Mustang and save it. That one, as you may have seen, that one's going to hurt. Takes the pass back in in a place you don't want to take the pass back in. Anna keeps the ball on the Calera end. And Huddleston tries another three. Same result. Smith with the board. Iker. And Anna on the baseline. Shot no good. Calera has opportunities. Saving it. And we have a foul now. Iker picks up the personal foul. His team trailing by three with a little more than a minute remaining here in the first quarter. And again, as I mentioned, clear with opportunities. You have to think that's something that you will see from a team who, again, has scrimmaged some over the break, but having only four games prior to the new year, it's tough to find a rhythm in all that. Defense is there. Here come the Bulldogs with another opportunity. Smith with the long range. No. And that one hit the apparatus. So it's going to go to Rock Creek. Lots of whistles here as the first quarter is coming to an end. Thanks to our first quarter sponsor, Gallipot Pharmacy, right here in Calera. We'll see if this is something that turns out to be big later on, but Bodie Smith with two personals in the first quarter. And two more points for Rock Creek. Patrick Ingram in the contest for the Mustangs. And it's going to go back to Rock Creek one more time with 4.7 seconds left. Is there time for the Mustangs to get anything near the basket? Looks like possibly Hamill. Hartley for three. Too strong. And Rock Creek with a five-point advantage after the first quarter is now in the books on the road. Rock Creek trying to pick up its seventh win of the season. We'll take a break, and we're going to be back here on the BCP Spotlight Game on Midwest Sports Net. This is Midwest Sports Saturday. Good morning, I'm Joey McWilliams. I'm impressed with what you got going on, Joey.
because it's hot. Oh my goodness, it's hot. This is, for my money, the biggest matchup of the day. I'm going to have lots of fun today. Glad to be watching basketball tonight here from Calera. Joey McWilliams here on the BCP Spotlight Game on Midwest Sports Net. Rock Creek, 12-7 advantage after the first quarter. Anna tries to knock that one away from behind again and does. Calera will keep it for a moment, and it will stay with Calera. Props to Holden for tying that one up. Possession arrow in favor of Calera, so it's going to stay there. As Clayton Francis checks in now for the Bulldogs, wearing number two. And Colt Weaver will take a seat. Iker drives, and was he fouled or did he step on the line? I'm going to say he was fouled. Foul charge to Ingram. Ingram, a sophomore. Playing low in the 2-3 look there. Huddleston in the corner. Three-pointer won't fall. And we have another foul. So two fouls quickly by the Mustangs. We'll keep it on the Calera end once again. This time Iker for three. And had a hand in his face. Smith gets the board, puts it on the ground. It's knocked away. It's going to stay with Calera, though. Fortuitously for the Bulldogs, goes right to Anna. Now Smith backing down. He's fouled. So. Coach Edlin unhappy with the play. He's going to bring in the sub. Clay Stoner checks back in. <laughs> and nobody, by the way, this was not an intentional foul. There's nobody's on the on the blocks there for either team. And actually it technical foul charged. Well, here we are as Smith makes three of four from the free throw line. Bodie Smith now with five points on the night, all of them coming from the free throw line. Free throw line played a pretty big, had a big part to play in our earlier game tonight. Calera coming with a 45-39 victory. Kept the ball on the Bulldogs' end. Can't make the three-pointer. Huddleston's gone dry from outside the arc. Made a long-range jumper two-pointer in his first shot of the evening. Hasn't made one since. Anna gets the pass. Wrapped around Iker. And we have a three-second violation. Bulldogs in the lane too long. Full-court pressure. Mustangs break it to pass down low. Stoner can't contain it. Outside. Holden for three. That one rattles out, but Hartley is there for the putback. Royal Hartley has two more. Back to a four-point advantage now for the Mustangs. Smith was fouled, and Smith will go to the line with a one-and-one -one opportunity. Talk about six and five for Calera, or excuse me, for Rock Creek. Calera one and three 
and some tough losses. Class 2A taking on 2A number 20, Colbert, and an overtime loss in the season opener. Lost to number 17 from Class A at Rattan, 63-54. And just before the final game before the break, wasn't supposed to be the final game, but it turned out to be that way. Fell 62-44 to Atoka in Class 3A. Schaefer drives, shot no good. Calera with an opportunity to tie or take the lead. Smith drives, that one's blocked. Hartley sends it out. Huddleston for three, won't fall. Pass over the head. <laughs> and the pass did go out of bounds. I think Stoner was actually standing on the line. Watch this on video. You may go back and check that one. Looks like that kicked. Hit somebody's foot. Schaefer, uh, too many steps. Probably not going to get away with that one even in the NBA. Although. Claire, another opportunity now. Three minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Bulldogs chipped away. Smith, well, he draws the defenders every time. Iker for three, and he drains it. And the Bulldogs are on top now, 15-14. Tim Iker's first field goal tonight. They've... Had a little bit better defensive look here in the second quarter, have the Bulldogs. And Hamill trying to drive past that. Running jumper, no good. Opportunity was there. Smith tips it away and would have been out of bounds on Calera had Hamill let that go. Anna for three. And three Calera Bulldogs are there. They tip it away from one another. Hartley looks ahead. Numbers. Passes ahead. Looked like there was contact that time. I think somebody got away with a foul there. Stoner didn't make the basket. And it's going to to uh, go back to the Bulldogs. Rock Creek cheerleaders are here. Not on the baseline, though. They're up in the bleachers. It's an interesting feel. Smith. That three won't fall. Had the open look. Saved. And Rock Creek has numbers. Hamill. He'll be fouled to go to the line to shoot two. Smith was there. And he's going to pick up another personal foul. That's his third. Definitely not what Coach Evans wants with 3.17 remaining here in the first half. Hunter Hamill's first free throw rattles out. And Smith will take a seat. Caleb Washington, a senior, checks in. Second free throw falls. This one's knotted up again. 15 all. Expected to see a good contest tonight. Again, Claire with just the one win. Tough schedule. Rock Creek, 6 and 5. Holding their own pretty well. No good on the shot and just a takeaway. Schaefer at the other end. They'll say this one was on the court. 
doesn't matter. It's going to send him to the free throw line. One and one opportunity now for Jaden Schaefer. Host of juniors on this team. Four of them starting tonight. And Schaefer gets the free throw to fall. Second free throw, no good. There's a foul. And this will result in free throws on the other end. And that was not a wise foul. We'll bring up a double bonus. Foul charge to Holden, his second personal. And Braden White will go to the line to shoot two. One for two, first time tonight that anyone in a Calera jersey other than Bodie Smith has attempted a free throw. And it's tied again at 16, yet another tie. Oh, Hayda drains it for three. His first free uh, field goal of the night. 19 points on the board for Rock Creek. And Ojeda becomes the seventh Mustang to score. Spreading the offensive well. Calera can't answer. That's Cole Reese. The steal, though, by Anna. He slows down, allows the defender to come in. That's a great job that time, by the way, for Holden to avoid the contact and Matched by a great shot then by Anna as well. Nogni Anna with his first two tonight. Schaefer will pick up the offensive foul. That's his third, by the way. Jaden Schaefer now with three. Anna from long range, made one from almost from the court while ago. High percentage shot. Long range doesn't fall. Anna open for three again, and this one rattles out. Nearly tipped back in. I think Hartley would have put that one back in had it fallen. In the corner, Stoner. He'll go to the line to shoot three. And that's the third personal foul now for Braden White. Not a lot of, of rhythm to this game right now here in the second quarter. Lots of whistles. Stoner's first free throw attempt is good. This game started off for Rock Creek with three free throws attempted by Stoner. He made two of the three. Got the Mustangs on the board early in the first quarter. Schaefer will step out with those three fouls. And the result the same, made two for three. Rock Creek nonetheless with a three-point advantage. Saved. Claire will get it back. Anna for three. Count it. This one's tied once again. Anna with five points all coming here in the second quarter. 60 seconds remain. Slow it down. There's some more full court pressure now. Bulldogs. Trailed by five coming into the second quarter. See if they can do something a little bit different before the intermission. Hartley's there for the basket. Royal Hartley has another two. Oh. 
Neither team has seen much success tonight from the half-court set look. Slowing down, running the offense. They seem to be a little bit better in transition. We'll see if the Bulldogs can do something out. Anna, there's an opening, driving, White, Anna for three, no good. And that's the end of the first half. Rock Creek will take a lead into the intermission, up 23-21. Thanks to all of our sponsors here, bring us tonight's broadcast. The BCP Spotlight Game on Midwest Sports Net is brought to you tonight by Pro Image by Firehouse Subs, by Gallipot Pharmacy, and by K&D Designs on North First Avenue in Durant. We're going to take a break for the half, and we'll be back for the third quarter here in just a moment. This is Midwest Sports Saturday. Good morning. I'm Joey McWilliams. I'm impressed with what you got going on, Joey. Because it's hot. Oh my goodness, it's hot. This is, for my money, the biggest matchup of the day. I'm going to have lots of fun today.
Welcome back to Calera here on this Bryan County Patriots Spotlight game on Midwest Sportsnet. Glad to be watching basketball tonight. We have gone too long. Our second BCP Spotlight game of the 2020-2021 season actually would have been in Calera in December, and we're going to be doing the calera Ashley game. The game was canceled that day. Postponed or canceled. One or the other, we didn't get to do it. And so here we are tonight. Glad to get to see another Bryan County matchup between the Rock Creek Mustangs and the Calera Bulldogs. I want to say thank you to all of our sponsors tonight, which include KD Designs, Gallipot Pharmacy, Firehouse Subs, and Pro Image in Durant. Pro Image, our third quarter sponsor here tonight. Out of the court for the Mustangs to start the second half as Rock Creek moving from left to right. Jaden Schaefer along with Ricardo Ojeda, Clay Stoner, Zach Holden, and Royal Hartley. Ball's going to stay with Rock Creek to some of the fans' displeasure. And this time, it's going to be a foul. So, Clara coming out of the intermission, stumbling just a little bit, trailing by two. Holden's drive, not there. Hartley's put back, not there as well. And Smith with three fouls. Wanted to clear a little space there. And the Bulldogs with an opportunity now again to tie or take the lead. Four ties in the first half. There's the cutter. There's Iker, Alley, and Oop. Huddleston with the pass. Tim Iker is there for the shot. Give him two, and this one's knotted up again, the fifth tie of this contest. Calera, that is a design play. Looking for a little bit earlier, wasn't there. Holden's shot falls, and back to a two-point advantage for Rock Creek. Anna, an open look, comes up short. Huddleston trying to put it back up in the air. Shot won't fall. And ball last touch by Calera, so it will go to Rock Creek now. Calera talking about the five in the contest for the Mustangs now. It's Huddleston along with Iker, Anna, Smith, and White. Baseline is there, looking inside. Hartley put it on the court, the one dribble, and Anna able to knock it away. Last touched by Rock Creek, so Calera will get it back. The opportunity is there for a smaller player, a guard type. Get the ball inside, and once the post player puts it on the court, it levels the playing field. Two on one. Schaefer, left-handed off the glass, gets around Huddleston and in. Jaden Schaefer with two. Smith for three. He's wanted it tonight, hasn't fallen yet for him. Bodie Smith with seven points tonight, all of them coming at the free throw line. And there's another rebound. Hartley with another block. He has been there on defense tonight for the Mustangs. All alone under the basket. 
looking ahead. Play Stoner is there. Calera calls a timeout, trailing by six. We're going to keep it right here. And no wonder Coach Evans wanted a timeout. Stoner well ahead of the pack. And that was an easy pass, catch, and two. Clay Stoner now. The game high, nine points. Looking at the scoring near the midpoint here in the third quarter, Clay Stoner has nine points. Royal Hartley with six for the Mustangs, five from Zach Holden, three points apiece for Ricardo Ojeda, Hunter Hamill, and Jaden Schaefer. Meanwhile, for Calera. Just two points here in the third quarter. Tim Eicher had that too. Bodie Smith leads the way with seven points. Eicher with five. Anna with five. Colt Weaver has three. And Caden Huddleston has two. Braden White with a free throw as well. So the Bulldogs, again, looking now. Rock Creek in 2-3 look. They've extended that somewhat. And Ojeda gets a hand on it. And another hand on it. This time coming away with a steal. Anna's going to get it right back. Slows down, and he allows himself the control. Goes into Hartley. Hartley was moving back. Hartley picks up the foul and knocked the Anna We'll shoot two free throws. Calera needs points. One of the things that you see about the offensive play from Nockney Anna is he will force the issue. He'll drive it in. But will do things in the air to draw that defender to come in and draw the contact. Anna makes a free throw. He has six and... The deficit's five. Offensive foul again. Schaefer then picks this one up. It's his second tonight. He now has four fouls, two of them player control. And Coach Edlin going to have to bring him over and give him a seat for a moment. Blake Barrett, a freshman, checking in now for Rock Creek, wearing number one. Clayton Francis, by the way, sophomore for Calera, has checked back in as well. And Colt Weaver's come back into the game. Weaver nearly there for the board, tipped around. Francis can't get it, and the Mustangs will go the other way. Man-to-man -man defense. Bulldogs have that. Anna reaches, Anna reaches out, takes it away again. Slides a pass into Weaver. Can't get the shot or the put back, and it will keep it on the Calera end. Baseline. Reverse. No good. Weaver with the board. Anna steals it back, and now, finally, for Calera, an opportunity with nobody guarding. Anna will go to the free throw line. That was Barrett that picked up the foul. His first coming off the bench. And his first free throw attempt, no good. He's now one for three from the line. Ojeda comes out for Rock Creek. Hamill comes back in. Second one good for Anna. And he's tied Smith for a team high seven. Gets his team back to within four. Allows Holden to drive right around him. And the putback, I think they're going to give that to Hamill. Hamill now with five points tonight. And so no help that time on the Calera defensive end. Anna allowed Holden to drive right around him. Lead back up to six. Largest lead of the ballgame tonight for the Mustangs. Anna splits defenders. Stays up in the air. Shot's not going to fall for him. Three on four. 
And that one kicked out of bounds by Smith. Three-pointer, no good. The rebound underneath. Holden with the putback. Gets it to roll over and in. Zach Holden with another two. He has seven, and the lead has been extended to eight. Smith trying to take it back. He'll be fouled. That should be three on Hartley. On the court, it's going to stay on the Calera in. Subs coming in. Huddleston goes out, as does Francis. And White checks back in. Iker in as well. Anna for three, falling away. Shot comes up short. And that's going to stay with, oh, my goodness. It looked like it, looked like it last touched White or another White jersey. Smith allowing defenders to come in. And he'll go to the line this time to shoot two. Which one's going to pick up the foul? It's going to go against Stoner. So Stoner picks up his second. Fortunate for Rock Creek that Hartley didn't pick up a fourth there. So Hartley will check out Ingram. We picked up the tee a little bit earlier, checks back in. And Bodie Smith earning his keep tonight from the charity stripe. Man-to-man defense working well for Calera. There's an open three-point look, and Barrett has it too strong. So Anna with the board, double team. And he's going to turn it over. Second time tonight that he loses it on a carry. The high dribble gets away from him. And there you have to credit that Rock Creek defense then for the double team 90 feet away. Here comes Hamill. Smith will foul him from behind. Ill-advised foul, and it's going to be a tough one. Should be number four then against Smith. It is. He'll take a seat. Clara will send Devin Brown in now, the senior, wearing number 20. Hamill makes them both. Rock Creek doing a pretty good job from the free throw line tonight. Eight of 11. And off the bench and in for the three. How about that? Devin Brown checks in and gives his team needed offense. Anna will be fouled. He'll go to the line. And the span of just a few seconds now, Calera with the opportunity to erase five points from an eight-point deficit. How about that for Brown? The senior checks in and makes an instant impact. Full time out now gives us an opportunity to talk about the folks at Pro Image. And why not? What a great store. Collectibles, clothes, Hats and more with all your favorite sports teams, college and pro. And if it's not one of your favorite sports teams, which, by the way, they do have my favorite sports teams. They have things for the for the NFL, for my Seattle Seahawks, hoping to make a run in the playoffs this year. They have lots of local things as well, college, pro. And if they don't have it, there's a very good chance they can order it for you. Daryl and Melissa Holiday, folks at Pro Image in Durant. 
12.05 North Washington. Stop by and, and see them and tell them Joey sent you. Well, a quick turn of events here as Calera gets three points from Brown, a steal, Anna on the line. And in each of Anna's last two trips to the free throw line, he's made one and missed one. Well, there's the make. See if he can break the trend. Not this time. It's going to stay with Calera, though. 48 and a half seconds left here in the third quarter. And about 10 seconds of game time just a moment ago, it was an eight-point advantage for Rock Creek. Anna has just enough of an opening to drain a three from the left wing, and it is a one-point game. Near turnover, it is a turnover. And Calera at home is back in this contest. Knock me Anna with 10 points tonight, a game high. Scratch that, make that 11 points tonight. Tries another three. This one a little short. The save. And the steal both from Calera. Nice job by White. And we have a foul. He's going to stay with Calera. And that means one and one. With 10 seconds left here in the third quarter, Rock Creek picks up its seventh team foul. And that will send Iker to the line to shoot a one and one. Misses, rebound Weaver, can't get the put back, Brown. He does! Calera with the lead. Devin Brown off the bench with five points here in the third quarter. And the Bulldogs are going to go to the final period with a one-point advantage. How about the play of Devin Brown coming in for Bodie Smith with four fouls? What a great job. Thanks to our sponsors tonight as we head to the fourth quarter, which include... Firehouse Subs, k and Designs, Gallipot Pharmacy, and Pro Image, our sponsor for the third quarter. We'll be back with the final eight minutes here in a moment on the BCP Spotlight Game on Midwest Sports Net. This is Midwest Sports Saturday. Good morning. I'm Joey McWilliams. <laughs> I'm impressed with what you got going on, Joey. Because it's hot. Oh my goodness, it's hot. This is, for my money, the biggest matchup of the day. I'm going to have lots of fun today. Thunderstruck. I think Rock Creek's feeling that right now. It's a 9-0 run for Calera heading into the fourth quarter. Devin Brown with five points off the bench got the run started. He's also responsible for the most recent two. And Calera with the ball. And Calera no longer with the ball after Braden White travels. White, Iker, Brown, Weaver, and Anna in the game for Calera here in the fourth quarter. It's Holden along with Schaefer, who has four fouls. Stoner, pass in to Hamill. And we have a foul on the courts. And Hartley for the Mustangs. Just a third team foul for Calera here in the second half. Stoner for three. Breaks the Rock Creek scoring drought. Clay Stoner has three points and 12 on the night. 
And how about that? How big is that for the Mustangs? Brown travels. Turnover. Iker takes a seat as Huddleston comes back in. Schaefer guarded by Brown. Gets the pass around. Hamill. And White nearly gets the steal. It's going to stay on the Rock Creek end. Inbound baseline. Bulldogs in a man defense. And Anna with the foul. Contact between the two, and both of them hit the court pretty solidly. And Anna's going to rest just a bit and shake it off. Foul charge to Anna. That's his second personal. The Bulldogs still in the man defense. It's the side out inbound. This time the steal. Huddleston is there. Brown. Left hand, can't get this shot to fall, stays with Calera, tipped away by Schaefer. It's still going to stay on the Bulldogs' end. Mustang's giving a little room now. Zone defense, opportunities. Brown on the high post, steps, nowhere to go. Kicks out to Huddleston. Huddleston will try another three. And this one rims home, rattles around and falls. Huddleston, Caden has five now. Schaefer loses control of it, but it was last touched by the Bulldogs, so it will stay on the Mustangs' end. Back and forth here in the fourth quarter. Each team has drained one from long range. It's back to a Calera one-point advantage. Anna there for the board. Going to take it all the way down, off the glass and in. Splits two defenders as he does so well. And Nogniana has two more points. Calera up by three now here in the fourth. Brown with the foul. That'll be foul number five here. And Anna is going to have to take a seat for just a moment. Looks like he might be cramping just a bit. Hamill drives in off and in. So Hunter Hamill with two more points now. And it's back to a one-point game. Excitement here in Bryan County basketball as that one goes through the hands of Francis. It's going to stay with Rock Creek or go to Rock Creek. Hamill has a shot block. Huddleston's there. Huddleston stepping it up here in the fourth quarter. Looks for a three. That one won't fall. Rebound spinning out. Brown for three. Count it! Devin Brown for three more. He has eight. And Calera's lead has blown up to four. Schaefer driving in off the glass, and good. Jaden Schaefer with two more points now. Calera's just op- looking to open things up, and that was an errant pass, skip pass, went awry. Holden. And we have a foul. It's going to be on Francis. Little bit of contact there, not too much. But Rock Creek drew it, and now the next foul will be a one and one for the next foul that the Clara Bulldogs commit. 16 foul is the first against Francis. High post is Hartley. Hamill just inside the arc. The official held up three fingers, but I, he was standing on the line.
White takes a seat again, and Anna checks back in. Caleb Washington also in the game now for Calera. That one blocked, saved twice, and Rock Creek comes away with it. 2-1-3, no numbers for Schaefer. Looks down low. There's Holden, one dribble, shots up, no good. Rebound by Stoner, tied up. Now this one's been a fun one pretty much throughout, but especially here in the second half. Fun to watch this Bryan County ball. By the way, the Bryan County Patriots will be working in conjunction with Mix 96-1 this year in coverage of the Bryan County Tournament. Glad to be a part of that. Foul. We'll send Rock Creek to the line. Going to get Brown with the foul. Schaefer will go to the line to shoot two. And Schaefer, you know, you wonder, is he going to back away? No, he's going to continue to drive in. He has two player control fouls tonight of his four. But staying consistent, one of those things, you dance with the one that brought you. I guess unless the one that brought you causes you to foul out, but still. Schaefer gets one of two. Mustangs 9 of 14 from the free throw line tonight. And Calera, 12 of 17. 13 of 17, excuse 13 of 18, excuse me. The Bulldogs have a one-point lead, and Anna nearly, nearly gives that one away. Now he drives in. Gets around defenders again, around multiple defenders again. Long pass down the court. Schaefer can't find Stoner, and so Calera will get it back with a three-point lead. Not me, Anna, Anna now with 15 points. Rock Creek calls a timeout. Gives us an opportunity to talk about our fourth-quarter sponsor here, Firehouse Subs. Fire our subs along with KD Designs, Gallopot Pharmacy, and Pro Image. Uh, sponsoring this broadcast tonight. Firehouse Subs, 2501 West Main. I have to tell you, those are good subs. And I actually, with the pictures of the old firehouse in Durant, I don't know if you know where the old firehouse in Durant is. It is on Main Street. Uh, smart shopper now in that building. But some pictures of the old firehouse in Durant there as firehouse subs, supporters of our local first responders, and makers of some pretty great food. See Quentin and his staff. I'll get you a good meal. I'm partial to the Italian. Passes inside to Brown. Shot no good. A little bit too strong. Rebound. Calera. Three-point lead becomes six. Huddleston is there for his second three-pointer tonight. And we have a timeout for Rock Creek. Calera has come alive in the second half. Rock Creek was up by as many as eight late in the third quarter. Bodie Smith picked up his fourth personal foul. Devin Brown came off the bench for him. Put in a three-pointer with his first shot of the evening. Has eight points right now. It was the start of a 9-0 run for Calera in the late third quarter and into the fourth. And Calera has taken a lead. It's gone back and forth one time. They've stayed with that lead now. And it's gone up to 49 to 43 a six point advantage Anna has 15 points for the Bulldogs Bodie Smith who is still on the bench now with four fouls has nine points all of them coming from the free throw line Devin Brown and Caden Huddleston off the bench tonight with eight Tim Eicher has five meanwhile for Rock Creek Clay Stoner with 12 points tonight
Huddleston with a steal in the passing lane. Huddleston off the glass and good. The steal, the score. Caden Huddleston in double figures now with 10 points. Foul is Francis. Doesn't want to give up the baseline. And it's going to send Rock Creek's Holden to the line to shoot a one and one. First free throw attempt, no good. And now an eight point advantage for Calera. And looking to take a little bit more time off. Nogniana did this just a little while ago. Dribbled off about 30 seconds. Here he has the ball again. And the Bulldogs content with an eight point advantage. Defensive five is the call, it looks like. So good job by Schaefer with those four fouls to get a defensive turnover. So Rock Creek gets it back. You know, Calera taking time off the clock while ago with a one-point advantage. It would seem to put the fans a little bit more at ease with an eight-point advantage taking time off the clock. Pass inside, over and around, finally into the hands of Ingram, who gets his first Two points of the night. Anna driving all the way. Not stalling this time. Goes in, misses the shot. It's a six-point game. Holden gets the defender. He'll go to the line to shoot two. Got Brown up in the air. And this one's not over yet, folks. Zach Holden will go to the line to shoot two. His team trailing by six with 65 ticks left on the clock. Clara's girls with a victory tonight, 45-39. As Holden misses the first. Makes the second. And Bodie Smith is going to check back in for Caleb Washington. Gave some good time tonight. Time ticking away now. Five-point advantage for Calera, and they're content. Schaefer has four fouls. He's not the one you want to commit the foul, but someone's going to have to do it for Rock Creek. And finally, it's Stoner. Clay Stoner picks up the foul. Sends Huddleston to the line to shoot a one-and-one, as Stoner now has four fouls. At this point, though, Personal fouls don't matter as much. Time's ticking away, and you're behind. Huddleston makes the first of two. And he has nine points here in the fourth quarter. Makes them both. Caden Huddleston, the junior, now with 12 on the evening. Holden drives down, gets the defender up, shots up and good. Holden now. His first field goal in the fourth quarter, and there's a quick foul. Had to happen. Anna will go to the line to shoot. And for Schaefer, that is foul number five. And he knew it. Schaefer's had a good night tonight. Six points. Anna misses the first free throw attempt. Mustang still with an opportunity. Holden driving down, draws a defense in, and that one I believe will be on Smith. It is not. It is not on Smith. I'm going to say that was on Iker, which is foul number three. So Smith gets a reprieve. And Holden on the line to shoot two, makes the first. It's 
expect another foul here quickly from Rock Creek. If this one goes in and it does, it's a three-point game. Here's full court pressure, and it's ahead to Huddleston. Huddleston's going to drive, excuse me, going to slow down and take some time off the clock. It's a wise decision. Huddleston with an opportunity now to shoot two as both teams are in the double bonus. Makes the first. Second one in as well. Fourth quarter has belonged to Caden Huddleston. Three-pointer, and Huddleston got a finger on that one, redirected it. We have a foul, and now Anna will go to the line to shoot two, and 8.5 seconds left in this one. The momentum has definitely shifted to the Bulldogs here in the fourth quarter. Mustangs with an opportunity, but the deficit just got to be too much, it looks like. I want to say thank you to Firehouse Subs as well as Pro Image in Duran as Anna misses the first and misses badly. Candy Designs. I say that. I mean, it was just, it was a, it was a bad free throw. <laughs> he has 15 points on the night. And he makes up for it. Gets his 16th right there. As well as Gallopot Pharmacy bringing us tonight's spotlight game. Holden comes down, puts two more on the board. There is a timeout on the court. In theory, there is enough time. Full timeout, so it gives us time to say thank you officially to everyone. Thank you to our fourth quarter sponsor, Firehouse Subs, 2501 West Main in Durant. Check them out. They have great food for you. Pro Image in Durant as well as Candy Designs on North First and in Calera right here. Gallipot Pharmacy, Josiah Schomer, pharmacist there. Thank you to all of them. Thank you to Jayla McWilliams, our camera person for tonight. She's done a great job on camera, and I appreciate her coming on these broadcasts with me, being a part of uh, the BCP Spotlight game. She says hi, by the way. Appreciate my family and all these things. And I'm very thankful to you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to this channel, Midwest Sports Net. It does help. In theory, weird things have happened in the past. They're saying that Brown can move up and down the sideline. Inbound to Anna, he's fouled quickly. So, 1.1 second remaining. Anna will go to the line to shoot two. In theory, it's a two-possession game already, and that will definitely make it so. Anna with a made free throw, 17 points tonight to lead all scorers. Caden Huddleston has 14 on the evening. Zach Holden for Rock Creek with 14 tonight, and Clay Stoner with 12. Anna's 18th point is the final of the night. It winds up a six-point victory for the Calera Bulldogs who will move to two and three on the season. Some tough losses prior to the calendar turning. A win tonight here, their first game in 2021. Rock Creek falls to six and six on the year. Both teams will play a little bit later on this week. In the meantime, it is a 58-52 final. Thank you to everyone again for watching this BCP Spotlight game on Midwest Sports. Ned, I'm Joey McWilliams. God bless you, and have a great night.